Hello, this is Overlord Boat, and we're back with SAT Score. And today, we are going to be talking about the new feature called Auctions, which was recently added into World of Warships. So, the goal of Auctions is to pretty much use where you can use up your silver that you've earned in game credits. You can use doubloons to buy some of the options as well. So, as you can see here, the coal was previously worth 100,000 coal. The minimum bid was 25 million. My bid, of course, was 70 million. I didn't win. And then for the young admiral, there is a 9,000 bid minimum for him. And then for the thunder commander flag, 1,500 million bid for that for doubloons. So, with these, it kind of makes it where it's a fun little feature people to use their credits to balloons to get special rewards and stuff now something that we're going to be discussing as a controversy with this is that on this release they were saying that with each of these winner numbers you see the coals 5,000 the winners 1,000 here 25,000 2,500 for this one that this was for each server well this is wrong this is for all servers combined so this weird error made a lot of people lose out on being able to win because they thought oh this isn't for all servers this is only this is for each server so they thought that they wouldn't that's why i only did 70 if i knew it was all servers would only had 5,000 winners i would have done like 100 million because the winner the lowest i saw was 81.5 million won so around that is what won the auction. What do you think of the controversy with that SAT score? Uh, the controversy is definitely understandable. We all thought it was 5,000 per server, which would mean about 20,000 winners. But instead, you get one-fourth of that, so only 5,000 people win. The only upside is you're refunded your resources if you uh, spend it, if you don't win. So if you missed the 70 million to try and get the coal but didn't win, then you got your 70 million back. But because there's only 5,000 winners, as you can see, the winning bid's gonna be very expensive. Yep. We don't know for certain, but people have reported about between 80 and 85 million was the lowest winning bid. And that is a considerable amount of money for 10,000 coal. 100,000 coal. Uh, since now we know that we're that there's a lot less winners than expected we may see people try to spend more more of the resources on what they think is valuable resources like for example coal is generally highly valued since it's hard to obtain in any there isn't any good way to obtain coal quickly yep so trying to get it through the auction is one of the fa few fast ways and people are willing to throw a lot of credits at this since there's a lot of veteran players with just such a huge reserve of silver credits yeah, for instance, I have 1.1 billion credits just sitting around, not really doing anything. So me putting in like 100 mil or 200 mil isn't going to ever touch my bank. So for me, I feel like the auction is used to kind of try to drain some of these massive like hordes of credits and doubloons that some people have. In the future, they may use other currencies besides silver and doubloons. We don't know yet. And this is the first round of the auctions. So they could put in even more valuable stuff in the future. Like instead of coal, you can probably maybe buy steel with silver or doubloons. This is definitely going to be interesting because steel is used for a lot of the rarer ships. And if steel is going to be used for something like if you can buy steel for, say, silver, you can technically buy silver with money. Which means that this will be the first time ever that steel would be able to be bought with some sort of money. Uh, so steel is locked behind more competitive events like ranked and clan battles. So there are a few exceptions to that. Like steel campaign was available that you could get steel off of. The dockyards also offer a way to get some small amount of steel. But definitely offering in the auction would be an interesting shortcut since you could throw a lot more money at the problem and get steel that way. Mm -hmm. That being people. said, this was the first auction and a coal flag and a captain was offered. We don't know what Wargaming will be offering in the future. 
because it's been suggested they may offer back rare ships. That's the rumors going around. Nothing confirmed, of course. Same thing with the steel. I wouldn't be surprised if steel was offered, but I don't think it's quite as likely because it's supposed to be locked behind competitive events. Mm -hmm. Emphasis on supposed to. Another thing that uh, Wargaming did was offer a captain that was 9,000 doubloons for some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't think the captain even had any special abilities. No, I think that's a complete What do you rip think off. of that? I think it's a complete ripoff. He's an event commander with no special skills, level 14. You get, get 20 rising flags, but like... Was the, it camo or flags? Camos. And the camos don't look bad. Like, I'm looking at it right now. The camo looks pretty nice. But the thing is, you only get 20. There isn't any more. Now, so, the bonuses are you get plus 500 XP in the battle, plus free, 50 free XP, commander XP is plus 50, cost of post battle is negative 50, and plus credits for battles plus 50%. So, pretty much this camo, this rising camo, I feel like it make, this is make, pretty much makes any ship a premium ship. Mm hmm. And it's very easy to get other kinds of camo. Like, it's about worth the same as probably three or four coats. Mm -hmm. So just if you wait around on streams long enough or wait for a few drops, you'll get 20 camos. Mm -hmm. Maybe not the exact camo, but you can certainly get that many. And as I said earlier, the captain, there's nothing really special about the captain. So you're paying, you're effectively paying about 6,000, 7,000 doubloons minimum for that captain, which doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm definitely excited for the auction event, but the first iteration, it was definitely off. Like, is the, the communication with it was a little bit off, but I'm glad that it's cleared up now. But other than that, I feel like the auction is going to be a good way for people to use up all the hordes of resources they have. We'll definitely have to see about that. But is there anything else you want to add about auctions? So do you think Wargames' uh, poor wording would, is going to leave a sour taste in the uh, buyer's mouth i think that that's gonna leave a sour taste for a little bit but over time people will forget about it mm -hmm. also what else do you think they may offer in the auction well like you said they may offer special ships in the future that'd be really cool i'm expecting maybe like special captains maybe in the future maybe some old ones that haven't been around that'd be kind of neat we'll have to see mm-hmm Yep, that's all the questions I have then. But yeah, thank you so much again for your time today, SAT score. But yeah, this was just a quick little overview of the new auctions feature. If you guys have any questions or concerns about auctions, definitely comment down below. But thank you guys so much again. I'll see you guys next time and talk to y'all later. Hey guys, this is Overlord Bo. Just want to thank y'all for watching today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I love reading your guys' comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. B